Hi, I'm Eric Charles from Exactly, and I'm joined today by Lauren Reynolds from our Solutions Consultant team. One of the areas of conflict that I have observed over a couple decades now of sales teams is when there's something wrong in a commission check. A rep didn't get full credit for something or didn't get earn the accelerator or the spiff that they thought was coming to them. And this creates this distrust within the company. So they gather up all their materials and they march on over to sales operations and sales ops might send them over to accounting who will send them over to finance who might even send them to HR to resolve all of this. And it results in a rep not selling for at least half a day, it seems. And I asked uh, Lauren to see if she could give me a couple minutes and show me what it would take for a rep to dispute or start a dispute process around a commission check within the Exactly tool. So take it away, Lauren. Perfect, thanks, Eric. All right, I'm just going to share my screen here. So we'll start out with the end user and I'm logged in as Tony Smith, he's our account executive. So what I can do as the account rep is come over to my commissions and get that detailed drill down view. I can take a look at my orders here and this gives us that line item by line item transactional data. I can take a look at an individual order here and say this order amounts incorrect or my split percent is incorrect. I can come over here to the actions drop down and choose credit inquiry. And as the, the admin, you can choose to show any of these options here, if, say if the geography is incorrect. Uh, but as the rep here, I'll just switch this amount to an even 32,000. And I do have the option as well to upload some supporting documentation here, say the actual order that came through. But once I do that, all I need to do is hit send. And you'll see a little pop up here that says my workflow has been routed. Uh, so for this particular case, I routed this credit dispute to the manager. And then once it's approved to the manager, it'll go over to the comp admin for approval and uh, fixing that, that approval there. So I'll click into, sorry, I'm on the manager view now. And going over to my exactly docs pod, I do see a notification here awaiting you. And that's where that credit dispute is routed to. Uh, so from that rep, I have the inquiry management here, receive date, and then the document owner. So I just simply hit view. I can take a look at that dispute, and you can see that proposed value down here that's been changed. Um, any supporting documentation that was added by the rep can be downloaded here. As the manager, I can leave a comment. Um, I just need to certify that I reviewed it here and hit accept. And once that's been accepted in this particular workflow uh, by the manager, I'll pop over to my admin side here. And on the admin side, I'll go to docs. And then I can take a look here at any inquiry management, anything really in that, that workflow tool that will be routed to me. But particular to that credit inquiry here, I have um, that pending review. So I just hit view on the admin side. Take a look at the changes here. I've got the account ID, um, any proposed values will be listed out here as you can see. And then I do have that workflow status down here below showing that the manager approved. So as the admin, I can come in here, approve that change. And then I can actually go back through the system and find that order and change that order directly. So super easy, super quick to tackle those credit disputes. Plus a full audit trail so we know who's looked at it, when they looked at it and what they said about it. Yep, absolutely. And that's Perfect. It. Thank you very much for your time and you have a great day. Yeah, thanks, you too.